I commute to work every day. It was 27 miles round trip. First week I rode my bike to work twice, and then the next week it was another two or three or four times. And then the rains came. And then I found myself um, sticking my baggies around my feet, putting them in my tennis shoes. And so I was that guy that people see on Dexter with the bags hanging out of their shoes, chains squeaking like crazy. And that was the beginning. My wife will be the first one to tell you I'm a 100% better person when I ride my bike every day. It's one of those the few opportunities we have to really put some distance between us and computers and gadgets and technology. One of the things that I've learned in becoming a bike advocate is that anybody can show up to a city council meeting and shout down the city council and tell them how things ought to be. What's a lot harder is, is actually putting a little of your own skin in the game to go out and learn what the opportunities are, what the barriers are, and then helping deliver that into city policy. I'm Maddie Carlson, and I'm a stay-at-home mom. We're a family who loves cycling. We've gradually worked up to cycling every single day to get pretty much everywhere we need to go. We go to preschool every day by the bike, uh, we run all our errands, shopping, um, parks, swim lessons, you name it, we get there by bike these days. The boys love cycling. They, for a while, used to ask if we were going to take the mama bike or the mama car, but they don't even ask anymore. They just assume it's going to be the mama bike. Right now I'm the sole source of pedaling power on our bike, um, other than little shouts of, go faster, mama. <laughs> just the other day, we made uh, probably six stops by bike to run errands, uh, two grocery stores, one drug store, donut store, coffee store, and it would have been a nightmare with the car, but with the bike, it was, it was fun. There were no problems, everything fit, because uh, I have a very big bike. <laughs> I talk to a lot of people on the street, uh, so I just show them that you can get anywhere. It takes a little longer sometimes, but it's so worth it, and it's so fun. My name is Oliad. I have lived in CTAB for six years, and I've been riding my bike for four years. When I was a freshman, uh, Mr. Howard assigned me just riding my bike around. The Major Taylor Project started here and I said, you should come, you'll, you'll get to ride on a real bike and get out on the road and have some fun. I was excited. At first, I was like, you just ride bike in a club. I was like, yes. <laughs> it was awesome. You could feel the freedom. When I was a junior, we had to do this project, helping uh, the community. And since I love bikes, I, I did uh, my project on bicycle safety. He just, you know, recognized that uh, riding isn't always the easiest or the safest, and he got interested in that issue as his project. We surveyed 100 students at my school. Safety is their issues, and I had to really search on if just being laziness is one of the reasons. But it's not, uh, it's just their parents don't feel safe, their child is on the road. The community has to come together and has to say bike is good for us and therefore we, can, we have to secure the bike riders' safety. I wish I had more time for, for real advocacy, but in the meantime, I just try to get out there and lead by example. It took me time to build up my confidence, build up my, my mileage and my strength. I'm not fast by any means, but if I can do this, anyone can do this. The fact that students like Oliad see issues and start to learn about how they can have an impact will be the next step in the learning process for him about how he can make a difference, how he can have an impact. I'm not a public speaker, but if people need to know about bike safety, I will speak out. I think right now is a critical time and we have an opportunity to really change the way we look at our communities, the way we design our communities. Because when my kids get to be young adults, they're going to be really disappointed if we haven't taken all that we know about climate change, about public health, 
you know, obesity, diabetes, and we haven't taken some sort of action.